13 women were set to be arraigned by Hidalgo County Precinct 2 Place 1 Justice of the Peace Bobby Contreras on separate charges of theft totaling just over $336,000. However, only 10 showed up for court Tuesday morning. Each are accused of receiving benefits through the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program known as SNAP and Medicaid, which they did not qualify for. All I can say is that as, as a practicing attorney and also on the bench, you know, I would see a lot of these cases where individuals were being arrested uh, for, again, giving false information once they were applying for these type of services. And um, it, it, it is a problem uh, here. The criminal complaints against the women all state that the women made false statements to the Texas Health and Human Services Commission that they lived alone with their children. However, investigators found out that their husbands or children's fathers were earning income and living in the same household. One woman charged with theft, Aurora Zamorano, the criminal complaint against her states she received nearly $13,000 in additional food stamps from November 2011 to April 2013 and just under $40,000 in Medicaid benefits from September 2011 to November 2014. If they qualify for these services, you know, so that way they can provide for themselves and their kids, and then one day hopefully uh, don't need the assistance anymore. Hidalgo County District Attorney Ricardo Rodriguez says, unfortunately, many people take advantage of that system, which can take away assistance and funds from families who really need it. We want to make sure that these services uh, that people are applying for them and they're, that they're given the correct information, you know, that way they can properly receive the services that they need. But if they put down any incorrect information and um, they're trying to uh, uh, get these services by lying uh, and giving false information, then of course you're going to have arrests. In Hidalgo County, Ashley Custer, Action for News.